Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about interactions among soil microorganisms. So the microbial ecosystems of soil include the microbial flora together with the physical composition of the soil. And this is going to be considered as a sum of the biotic as well as the abiotic components that are present in the soil. So what are the various types of microbial associations in the soil means? Majorly we are having the three types. The first one is going to be called as neutral association. The second one is going to be positive associations. The negative, uh, the third one is going to be the negative association. So let's see what is the neutral association, positive association and the negative association. Coming to the neutral association, so here two different species of microorganisms live in the same environment without affecting each other. For example, uh, that means each species could utilize the different nutrients without producing metabolic end products that are inhibitory. That means they are not going to have any negative impact on the other species. So this relationship is going to be temporary as suppose uh, the demand of the for the nutrients changes, the relationship also may change. So that's the drawback of this neutral association. Then moving to the next one, that is positive association. So the positive association is of two types. One is mutualism, another one is commensalism. So coming to the mutualism, it is a type of symbiotic relationship in which each organism benefits from the association. That means both the organisms are getting benefited. A mutualistic association involving in the exchange of nutrients between two species is going to be called as syntropism. It is going to be called as syntropism. For example, check here uh, the bacteria Thiobacillus peroxidans and Bajernica species. If they are growing in a medium lacking of carbon and nitrogen, so the Bajernica is able to supply the carbon and the Thiobacillus peridoxin is able to supply the nitrogen. So like this, both are going to be of exchanging the carbon and nitrogen if they are going to be uh, growing in a medium called as lacking. So these two are going to have the syntropism type of uh, relationship or association. In the same manner, if you see the lichens which are going to have the fungus and algae, so both are also supplying the moisture content as well as the food materials. And one more example we can see here is a endomycorrhiza which is going to be a fungi having the relationship with the wheat plants supplying the nutrients and at the same time it is dragging the carbohydrates all the things from the plants. Then second type of positive association is a commensalism. So this commensalism refers to a relationship between the organisms in which one species that is one species of a pair benefits and other is not going to be affected. So if two members are there, one is going to be benefited and other is not going to be affected. That means neither it is going to be damaged nor it is going to be benefited. So such type of the effect is called as a commensalism. And this kind of commensalism or association occurs commonly in soil with respect to degradation of complex molecules like uh, cellulose and lignin. For example, if you check many fungi are able to break the cellulose uh, to glucose and the uh, organic uh, acid. But the bacteria are not going to have the, that capacity to break down so it is unable to utilize the cellulose. But the same bacteria can utilize the fungal breakdown products of cellulose that is glucose and the organic acid. That means here the bacteria is getting benefited from the fungi and the fungi is neither affected by the bacteria. So such type of the things is going to be called as commensalism. So we may take another example. For example, take the lignin which is a major constituent of wood is generally resistant to degradation by pure cultures of microorganisms under laboratory conditions. But the lignin in forest soil is degraded by the soil fungi. So this is another example of the commensalism. Then moving to the third type of association that is a negative association. So there are going to be of two types of negative association. One is the competition type of association and the second one is the parasitism. So coming to the first one competition. So this competition negative association refers to your relationship where 
there is a competition for essential nutrients. So that means for specific nutrient, two organisms are fighting. In such situations, the best adapted microbial species will survive. So obviously, this comes under the fit for, uh, that means the one which is going to have the nature of uh, struggling and fighting capacity that will survive. So obviously, here the competition is the one fit for survival. Then moving to this next type of uh, negative association is parasitism. And this is a type of relationship between the organisms in which one organism lives in or on another organism which is the called as host. So here the parasite, the one which is going to be of uh, living in or on other organism is called as a parasite and the one which is going to give the host is going to be the host organism. The parasite organism feeds on the cells, tissues or fluids of a host organism and that is commonly harmed in this process. So the best example or disease causing organisms comes under the parasitism. So these are the few uh, different types of uh, soil interactions that means the microbial organisms interactions in the soil or interactions among the soil microorganisms. Thank you.